It's time for Money Matters. Joining us today is Josh Smith from Strategic Wealth Designers to talk about NFTs. So first things first, Josh, what does NFT stand for and what is it? Yeah, so this is a, a, a cool acronym. It is non-fungible token. So what that means is that basically non-fungible means it's it's uh, unreplaceable and token just has to do with the blockchain technology. So what it really allows people to do is sell something, say like a piece of digital art and to show the authenticity of it to someone who maybe is purchasing it. So I feel like this this term has come up a lot here recently, the acronym itself. Why are we seeing such a surge in popularity? Well, I think as crypto, uh, really the cryptocurrency uh, craze has really uh, lend a little bit of credence to the NFTs. NFTs have been around for about 20 years or so, uh, but they only recently became um, what I would call a fad or popular uh, because it's real easy to transact um, in cryptocurrency buying and selling these uh, uh, NFTs. Do you think NFTs could become the new norm anytime soon? Right now, it's very complex and it's somewhat difficult for the everyday end user uh, to complete tra uh, NFT transaction. So until developers and app developers and web developers make that process simpler, simpler uh, for the everyday consumer, I don't necessarily think you're going to see us all trans transacting uh, inside of NFTs, at least not right now, but uh, we'll have to wait and see in the future to see how popular that they do become. All right, and then finally, you know, online sales used to be unheard of, but because of the pandemic and everything going on in this world, it feels like it's kind of overtaken brick and mortar at this point. Are we headed toward a cashless society? Yeah, so I get that question a lot. Uh, there's still a lot of hurdles we would have to overcome to become uh, to go cashless. Um, and you know, one of those is just what happened in Texas a few weeks back with the winter storm. How do we transact in commerce um, without electricity? Obviously, cashless that's not going to be possible. Uh, so there's still a lot of hurdles that would have to overcome. Uh, and then there's also concern with what would be the base currency right now, pretty much across the world. We use the U.S. dollar um, and there would have to be a, a replacement currency that would have to be better than the dollar. And consumers would want to, uh, you know, number one, it had to be convenient to use. And at the end of the day, people would ultimately have to trust in what are that currency, you know, whatever that currency is that the value of the currency is not gonna be worthless tomorrow. So I still think we're a long ways off before we could ever, if ever, get to to be a cashless society. Something to think about though, of course. Josh, thank you so much. Good information as always. Thank you. For more tips to make your money matter, visit our website, wkyt.com. If there's something you'd like us to discuss, send your request to news at wkyt.com and we'll talk about it here.